Uh, Elizabeth, we're starting with the uh, sun. Uh, this is on page 24. Uh, NHS waiting times, especially in England. Well, for gosh, you could apply this anywhere. Yeah. I can apply this to Northern Ireland. Mm. Um, uh, you could apply it to Scotland, Wales. Waiting times worse and getting worser. Well, a damning report by um, the Commons Public Accounts Committee has highlighted that it was a right mess even mm. before mm. the pandemic. Mm. Is that how they said? Yes, that's what they said, Roger. That was what they wrote no, at the top no, of their... Roger said, oh, it were, proper, <laughs> it were a proper mess. <laughs> and, um, wait, you know, the cancer treatment, waiting times with elective surgery, uh, you know, I just... Going back, they've gone back as far as 2014 and, yeah, just not acceptable. And they're saying, as well as pouring extra money into it, which we're all being told will be done with this hike in national insurance from the 1st of April, it's not just about money, they're saying. It's about management, it's about organisation, it's about getting staff and skills. Uh, there's several stories about the NHS today. Uh, another one that is really poignant... Um, Mental health, getting, trying to get a doctor's appointment for anything yeah. is, is absolutely impossible. And there's a story here about a 14-year-old who was worried she was getting behind with her homework, couldn't get out of bed in the morning, said, Mum, I just can't do it, and went into the local park oh, and no. hung herself. It's just t terrible. I know two people this week <sighs> who've told me, one is a personal contact, one is a builder I've been working with for years, both of them tried to get appointments this week because they're suffering from anxiety and depression. Very serious. And they both rang what they're told to do. They told me separately. They don't know each other. They rang at 8am to their surgery and one of them waited 10 minutes and was told, sorry, all the appointments have already gone. The other one hung on for 58 minutes mm. and then was told, I'm sorry, no chance. I mean, what, where do people turn? Yeah. Well, I'll tell it's you where it terrible. goes wrong. It goes wrong because... Somebody applies some business algorithm mm. that apply to, you know, a lost and found office or mm. ordering clothes yeah. or whatever it happens to be. And they take the humanity away. Mm -hmm. they take, when people, as you're mentioning there, are down or depressed, they just want someone to talk to, they want someone to reason to, it doesn't happen. Because some pen pusher some way says, this is a more efficient system. Yeah. Well, this, one of those, these guys tried to get a GP's appointment two weeks ago, failed. Then he went on to the uh, crisis line. Yeah. That every area has a crisis line, 24 hours, mental health crisis. Rang that. They, you know what they said? Ring your GP. Mm -hmm. So yesterday he did that again. Eventually he got somebody to speak to him in the afternoon, a doctor, who said, ring the NHS mental health crisis line. I said, well, do that again just to round the circle and see what happens. Mm. So he rang them again yes. and he said, go to your GP. Yeah. You know, it, it's supposed it's the National Health Service. You, and people people yeah. have paid into this all their working lives, and, and you they? and you can't get treated. Well, if you weren't depressed before you started out, oh, you would be yeah. afterwards, wouldn't you? The thing is, like, I'm, I, you know, I'm not ill, and I'm and, and I'm resilient. Some might say bullshit. So, you know, I'm trying to help people by getting on the phone. Yeah. But if you're so down, you don't even want to pick up the phone and have a, a confrontation with anybody, do you? Yeah. Well, well just a reminder. Person, just I was just going to say if. I anyone at home is, is, can relate to that, we should just say that you can call the Samaritans for support on 116 123 any time if you are feeling down, just those words. And the charity out. Mind as well, Isabel, they have a hotline, which I've said to people, yeah, try that. Mind. Yeah. yeah, there is support out there, but you're right, getting doctor's appointments is incredibly hard. Yeah, I was just going to say you need that face-to-face -face contact, which is even harder now. You know, it's bad enough trying to get your GP to just give you a phone consultation, mm. but... People need to be, you know, mm. having face-to-face -face contact with their, with their GPs. You see, th this whole thing at the weekend, I launched a. Um, yeah. It was a, it was a bus basically, and it's in a care zone in in North Belfast. And basically, what they were doing, people are so frustrated, they can't get through the, the suicide rate in North Belfast, particularly amongst males. Yeah, is, young men is mm, the yeah. is the highest yeah. in in Europe, and what they have is this bus that they will park in various streets. So they'll go around, they'll tell people, look, we're, we're round the corner. And people then come for all sorts of issues. And then the, the, the people in there reach out to the services. It's trying to bring the services to the people. Because people 
can't understand or just can't access them. Mm -hmm. You know, where do you begin? Yeah, where that's on earth such do you an begin? amazing idea. It, it's, a, it's a complete yeah. mess, and sometimes all it needs is common sense. It just needs people to say, what is the right thing to do here? And the right thing always is people talking to people. Yeah. It's not algorithms, it's not machines. Yeah, it's not, so right. You know, it's, 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 it's not blooming rocket science. Yeah. Just employ more people. Mm. Anyway. Press one if you are having a heart attack. Oh. Press two. Yeah. No, I know. And I don't care if it's trying to get a, a, an airline ticket or a mm. refund or to pay your gas mm. bill or whatever. It just There should be a kickback mm. in all of this yeah. from people to say, we're not accepting this anymore. Put a person on. And then they put people on who don't have any authority to yeah, speak. Yeah, the Someone's over their shoulder. Yeah. What do I do? I ask them ten questions mm. on this list mm. here. Reading a script mm. on the computer. On a script. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Ugh, anyway. Well, look, Fraser. sticking with yeah, doing the right thing, Fraser, you've chosen the story in the front of the Express, and it seems that at last tally anyway for the paper, they're saying 122,000 people have opened up their homes, or at least yeah. in theory, are offering their homes to refugees fleeing the war in Ukraine. So it's a small bit of light in, in the darkness. It's, it seems as if the British public are really prepared to open their homes to uh, Ukrainian refugees, people who are, you know, obviously in dire need of our help. And 122,000 is an incredible, mm. incredible figure. Be considering what's being asked here, you have to um, give up your home for or give space in your home for at least six months. Um, you know, that's that's not just um, putting your, a Ukraine flag in your profile picture. That's a big uh, commitment to, to helping people. Mm. So I think that's, you know, it's, it's very good news. It also sort of busts this stereotype that the British people are nasty and racist and, and don't care about what happens abroad. Uh, so, yeah, you know, some light in the darkness there. Well, it's nice to find a bit of light. Mm. Um, we're, we're finding it difficult, Liz, to find um, uh, stories with a positive uh, take, but um, and not this one, certainly. Council bills, we go to the Daily Telegraph. This is page 12. Council bills, sort of hardly surprising, only well, up. They're starting to drop onto the mat. And uh, what struck me this week, you know, it occurred to me before, I looked at it, I think it's because we're all conscious of cost of living now, aren't we? It, it, the top of it, official document from a local authority. I never realised before, it's council tax demand. <laughs> Why? That, that's so rude. Oh, I mean, I, I don't owe them any money. I'm paid up till the end of this financial year. Why is it a demand? Um, anyway, it's gone up, obviously. And um, also... Um, if you want your, bin, your green garden waste bin emptying, first world problem, it's not even included. Yeah, we don't uh, get given two, one in two central thousand London. 700 pounds or whatever. It's, you have to pay 40 quid extra to have your garden waste taken. And it's happening all over the country. In Wiltshire, um, you're going to have to um, take your own stuff to the tip. Um, people in West Sussex and Worthing are being asked to double bag the rubbish and keep it in the shed or the garage to protect it from wildlife until the council can come yeah. and but collect it. Right. Nothing is a service anymore. Yeah. No. Right. So we pay, we bag our own grocery goods at, at, the, at a supermarket. We pay for those. We check ourselves into an airline. We do everything. You know, it wasn't, it isn't our job. <laughs> it's your job to do it. That's what we're paying you. Um, but uh, what was I going to say to you? Yes. Awesome. Also, oh, you noticed, there it goes. Have you, noticed, have you noticed how many roadworks there are around at the moment? Uh, Absolutely yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And, and it is the end of the tax year. That's yeah. right. It's coming to the, uh, oh, the end I of the financial that was year. A thing. Yeah, because if they don't spend the budget, they yeah. don't get it. So say they have £10 million. Pounds. If they only spend £8 million, that's what they get for next mm. year. So they wait and see, what do we need? What do we need? How much have we got left? Right, let's all yeah. spend it. And that's why you can't move on the roads at the moment. Yeah. Oh, Otherwise, gosh. you need Rod Stewart to fill. I know. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's really great, good for it? Rod. Which what a legend. Star, would you like coming filling your potholes? <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um...